What's going on guys? Here we are at the front of my house. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a front side and backside board slide today. It's been a pretty requested trick. I thought, you know what, I'm pretty, it's a pretty slow day. As you guys can see, it's very grey outside. And it's probably going to rain any second now. Except, whoa, we've got some blue skies. We've got blue skies over there. You guys can't really see them, according to Connor. So we're going to get right into it today. Pretty much, I'm going to start off with a backside board slide. And then after that, I'll do a front side board slide. Because some of you guys probably don't know which way you stand. You probably don't know the difference between a backside and a front side. So I'm going to pretty much, before we even do that, teach you the differences between a backside on a front side board slide. So a backside board slide is where you go towards the rail. So this one right here, and your heels are facing towards the rail. As you guys can see, my heels are facing the rail right here. So this would be a backside board slide. Front side, the front of your body, the toes are gonna to be facing the rail. So that's a front side board slide. So that branch is gonna clarify the difference between front side and back side right there. But we're gonna get it right into it. Today I'm gonna to start off with a backside board slide. First thing you guys really wanna do is be able to jump decently high. You obviously wanna be able to jump high enough to get onto the rail in the first place. You don't wanna be jumping on the side of the rail then getting on top because if you're doing it on a flat bar like my one here this thing does like to move it's not very stable so if you guys are doing it on an unstable flat bar as well it's going to do the same thing but if it's in a skate park rail is already inbuilt like planted into the ground doesn't really matter but i definitely recommend you try to try and land directly on top purely because it's going to be the safest way and it's going to be the easiest way to constantly do it on rails so now you got the jumping out the way the next thing i like to do is come into it with a decent amount of speed and if i was on a normal flat bar which wasn't one of these I just try and chink the end of the rail, but obviously my rail will lift up, so I can't really do that. Um, and I just try and start at the end of the rail, board side a little bit, then go you know, a couple of centimeters back, and then board side a little bit longer every single time. If you guys aren't super confident, that would be the easiest way. But if you're a daredevil and you wanna get straight into it, then the easiest way to do it is, like I said, jump up and you wanna land with the middle of your deck on the rail. So I come semi close to the rail, don't go super close. I wanna go close enough and I can jump on the rail easily. But I don't want to go too close because what happens is when you jump, you actually will you'll clip the rail. And you don't want to be doing that. I go pretty close for a backside board slide. And you want to jump. And then when you're in the air, up and over, you turn your scooter about 90 degrees. You want to be as sideways as you can. The more sideways, the better. It looks better. It's a proper way to board slide. But you pretty much want to land in the middle of the deck so that the balance points are going to be on each side. So I'll have my foot generally at the front here. And I'll have one foot at the back. So I'm on either point of the rail. So the rail is directly in between me. And I can kind of balance on each side. So I'm gonna have the rail in between me like this. And that way, you're gonna be able to balance the best. So if you're leaning too much to the back, put pressure on your front foot. You can really balance each way when it's, the deck is in the center of the rail. So I'm gonna quickly do a couple of board slides for you guys just to really show you what they look like and what I do, my techniques. Everyone has their own personal ways. I'm just showing you how I do it. And this is the way that I like to do it. So one thing I noticed about people trying to learn board slides for the first time is you're really penciled, you're really straight. So what happens is you'll slide out quite easily. I like to have my knees nice and bent, just a tiny bit so I have pressure on the rail the whole time. So if I aim to slip, I can easily get out of the way. So you're gonna have constant pressure through the board slide. So when you land, you kind of just glide off the rail and your knees are already ready to land because they're bent. It's easy to absorb the impact. You can land nice and smooth. If you're really straight, it's kind of aggressive. You kind of rock all over the place. You can't balance quite as easy. And that's what I tend to notice with the kids. They jump onto the rail. You'll be really straight. And if you slip back, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It actually really sucks. I've been to the same thing when I first learned board slide, so I know where you guys are coming from. But the best way to do it, guys, you want to have your knees kind of bent, so you want to have constant pressure on the rail. And it's going to be the easiest way, in my opinion. So next up, we're going to be doing some front boards. Same thing again with the backside board slides. You want to be about 10 centimeters away from the rail, 10, 20, whatever you feel comfortable at. I like to be kind of close because I know I can jump up and over the rail. Um, but for different tricks, I like to go at different angles. So if I was doing a front board hard 180, I'd go more towards the rail, but I'm not doing that. So I'm just going to be doing a normal front board. So I like to go in line with the rail. So when I do a grind, either whether it's back side or front side, I like to jump along with the rail. So you want to be jumping and going the same direction as the rail. You don't want to be jumping over or to the side or anything like that. You want to be jumping and going with the rail. That way you're going to be right on top. Front boards are a little bit trickier than backside board slides. Um, a lot of people really, really zeech their front boards. And what I mean by zeech is a front board or a board slide. You know, you're supposed to be as sideways as you can, 90 degrees, preferably to you street dogs out there. Um, but a lot of people do like a really zeech board like this. It's just like, they're not even sideways, they're pretty much locked in front wheel and back wheel and that's technically not even a front board, that's pretty much just a locked grind. So the way I like to do front boards, I jump up nice and high, same with the backside board. And as soon as I'm up over the rail, I turn my body, but I keep my head looking forward. Because with front side board slides, if you don't turn your body, you kind of can get locked and it will kind of grip and shoot you forward, especially if I'm doing it on my flat kink, that happens quite a bit. So you need to be pretty much backwards and you need to be looking forward, so your body's turned 
your head's looking straight the whole time. Again, knees nice and bent along the whole rail. Pretty much like a backside board, but we're doing a front side board. I'm gonna show you one really quick. You guys will notice when you first learn front boards, you may want to go to fakie, and that's a normal thing. I did the same thing when I did front boards. Pretty much the thing to eliminate that is locking your bottom half turn, and you're like pushing down on the rail with your top half looking the way you're going in the front board. So you want to have your bottom half turn with your top half looking forward like that. Pretty much the easiest way to do it. Uh, but like I said, you probably will want to go to fakie while doing that trick. So that was my tutorial on how to do front side board sides and back side board sides. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up. And we're going to do as many backside and frontside combinations as we can. Okay, me and Connor, the man behind the camera right here. So we're going to have a good time doing some board sides. See you guys in a sec. But that's gonna do it for today, guys. I hope this helped. I hope you learned front boards or back boards, or at least I hope I helped with them. Shout out to Connor for helping me filming, and he did some tricks in there as well. Today was sick. We are supposed to go to the shed and film a video, but we ended up filming this tutorial instead. So besides that, if you guys wanna see more tutorials, let me know in the comment section below. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, do all that kind of good stuff. You guys know what to do. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.